Golden Blue Dude here with you again, and if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Why? Because I make college football videos every single day. Spoiler alert, if you're not a West Virginia fan, might want to skip this video. You're more than welcome to watch. I'm just letting you know. So with Iowa State bombing against Louisiana, who didn't look all that great against Georgia State, and then Kansas State losing to Arkansas State from the Sun Belt. We really haven't seen Baylor or TCU. Texas Tech, terrible. Kansas, terrible. And we know that Oklahoma and Texas are going to be great. Has West Virginia become the sleeper in the Big 12? I know, I know. It's super, super early. And this Saturday, we'll find a lot more out about West Virginia and Oklahoma State. Look, at the, be at the before the beginning of the season, I actually had Oklahoma State pretty high on the list. And then I started doing some actual scouting. Yes, they have Chuba Hubbard. Yes, they have Spen Spencer Sanders, who injured his ankle in the first quarter. And yes, they have Tylon Wallace. After that, not really much of anything. Their offensive line is only returning one starter. They look like a collective mess in that first game against Tulsa. And as you can see... Their defense is average at best. I definitely think West Virginia can pull off the upset. Here's a few things to keep an eye on. First of all, we do need to clean up our special teams. That was terrible. We can't be muffing punts, and we can't be allowing uh, touchdown returns on punts or kickoffs. Those are mo momentum killers, and it can't happen. So if we clean that up, we're good to go. And I will say Evan Staley needs a little bit more uh, confidence, too, in his kicking. You can't miss a 29-yarder. But our offensive looked great, especially our offensive line. They did something in that game against Eastern Kentucky that I didn't see them do the entire year last year. What am I talking about? I'm talking about getting that initial push and then blocking in the second level. Last year, they couldn't even get the push. This year, they actually know how to block for the run. So our run game will be much improved. I predicted that Letty Brown was going to have 850 yards of rushing or more, given that we're in a 10-game season. If we were in a normal, ga uh, normal uh, amount of games, I would say 1,000 yards. That's how, how much better our offensive line looks. Wide receivers look great. Jarrett Daggy looks amazing. He uh, threw for uh, over 200 yards in limited action, several touchdowns, and he spread the ball around to, to 10 different receivers. He was the second highest graded quarterback in that particular week. And I get it. It was Eastern Kentucky. And Oklahoma State did not look good against Tulsa. And the opening line in that football game, West Virginia at Oklahoma State, is 9.5. That's not a big line, and it has trended down. Now it's down to 8.5. The spread makers are seeing what we're seeing. This game is going to be a close game, and West Virginia is much better than everybody thought. Except for me, and you heard it from me first. Hey, I do my homework, I do my scouting, and I just pass on the information to you. I still have Oklahoma and Texas finishing 1-2, and two, but... With a little bit of luck and the ball bouncing the right way, you never know. West Virginia just might have a couple of upsets up their sleeve. We'll have to wait and see. That's all I got for you for this video. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on my next video.